What's going on everybody on YouTube? This is Vanity Stick and this is the ZTE Avri Plus. I have the Google lock on this actually phone. So this phone actually been hot resetted and there's a Google bypass on this, uh, this phone. So in order to get the same Google account you have to sign in with the previous one which is you may forget. With this video I'm going to show you step by step how you can bypass the Google account for the ZTE Avri Plus. Before we start, I want to explain uh, a few things for you. So okay, mainly you need to download application. You guys going to find this application on the description box below. So go ahead and download this one. Then you need to connect your ZTE Avid Blast to your computer or laptop. And then you have to copy this file into your uh, uh, cell phone. So I'm going to show you how you actually get that file and then copy it. We're going to go step by step in order to show you how to do it. Simply, you don't need to think about like how it's done and what you need to do. Just follow my step and you should be okay. Now what I have done, I just put the USB to the phone from my uh, laptop. Then the phone, it should be identified to your PC. Now, if you guys can see this highlighted application, this you guys gonna find it on the description. So go ahead and download. And then once it's downloaded in your PC, just copy this one and I will put it on the phone go to my computer and then go to the ZTE and then just go to the storage and paste this one over here. This is actually the first uh, step. Now we're going to go to the second step but before make sure you are connecting to Wi-Fi or 4G or whatsoever and then just uh, uh, I want to just fix the zoom so okay say enter your email and the keyboard should pop up over here so you need to hold in this buttons right here which is the gear pan or it it's actually at button, but if you keep hold in this one, you should be able to see the gear. So then slide your finger to the gear and go to Google Keyboard Settings, and then go to uh, Text Correction, then go Dictionary, and then choose United States, and then go to the plus sign, and add any word you want, and then go to the search icon. And then on search, just hit G, number uh, or letter G. And then go to Google Voice Typing. And then go to the text to speech output. From there, you're going to be able to see Google Text. And then just hit on the gear. And then go to Install Voice Data. And then three dots on the top. Go open Source License. And then just hit on anywhere you want and things like that should pop up. Go to the search. And then you have to go actually here to file manager. Okay, and then we should pop up. There you go. So this is actually the first, uh, the second step. We're going to move on to the third now step. Now when you got this point, let me just tell you, go to all. And you guys are going to be able to see the quick shortcut application that we just downloaded. Go ahead and press on this one. And go to settings because this is an unknown source. And you guys are going to be able to see unknown source. Just activate this one. And go back. And then go to the same application. And install that application. Then accept this time. And then go to open just gonna hit open and then you have to type here Google account and you guys gonna be able to see account manager hit on this one okay and then you have to go to Google account manager type email and password over here click on this one now just click on try you guys going to see this, three dots in the top. Now, what I'm going to ask you to do, accept, and then OK. Now you have to log in to any of the Gmail account, not necessarily to be the previous one. For security uh, reason, I'm going to skip this part because I want to put my email 
not the one that I have used, any one I have before, and then I will come back to I just you. enter the password, so let me go ahead and log in like that. You're gonna just wait till it sign in. What's gonna happen now? Uh, it's not going to give you to add the Google account when you restart the phone. So go ahead and click on restart. Restart your phone and uh, trying to log in. Let me just skip this one and come back to you because I don't want the video to be uh, very your long. your phone like that, you're going to get this uh, screen. It's going to check. It may going to take uh, a few minutes. So we're going to be patient this time. Actually, just want to let you know, guys, I've been searching and trying every single way to get that phone be uh, bypass Google account. This is only for you. I have received maybe like hundreds of comments that they want to get this one be Google bypassed. I'm doing this actually only for people they actually forgot the Google account, not for people they actually uh, stole the phone or they found this phone. You're going to be able to see the account is added, so go ahead and hit next and go go like that skip everything this time and so it's gonna say restoring it maybe take minutes or two minutes or whatever but right now as you guys can see we have passed the Google account what we're gonna do is actually uh, once we get access to the phone we need to go to the settings and then after that we need to factory reset the phone as a regular way that way actually your phone is gonna be 100% clean from the old Google account and you don't need this anymore to bypass your Google account and it took me about two months just thinking how to figure out that way to go to bypass the Google account so what I need I need your support you need to share the video uh, in order to encourage me more to do more for you guys let me just skip this very quick and we'll come back to you my phone just done the uh, restoring it will restore your contacts because I'm using this email for another one but go to the settings now and scroll down all the way back up and reset fact to reset your phone and reset everything erase everything that might take about another uh, three minutes and we come back and see without a Google account we can be able to bypass this phone last moment this is the last uh, of a truth or uh, the moment of a truth hey over here so we're gonna skip we don't need Wi-Fi this time so this is the moment of the truth and see if that phone gonna be uh, bypass the Google account or not. It's gonna make take uh, about a few minutes as well. Because there is no connection, so they're gonna start checking connection. But this is actually normal. Maybe eventually it will give me a message that this phone no internet or something. Because this phone is actually is not active phone. I don't have any service or 4G in this phone. So, but this is normal. Now, just say skip like that. Skip anyways. I want to skip everything. And as I told you, this is very much it. I believe after you do everything, let me just do a re uh, recap. You're gonna find a quick share shortcut actually application on the description uh, install this one to your computer plug your ZTE to your computer maybe this may gonna work also on the ZTE Obsidian as well and then after you copy it watch this video again see the steps that I have done actually and you should be completely fine so I want to ask you guys if you would like to subscribe to this channel and we as as you guys can see we have a lot of things here fixing problems review phones we have full coverage so you can feel free to subscribe and also if you like that video please don't forget to leave the thumbs up thank you so much for watching as always I'll catch you in my next one